a boat dock. It's a great place to, well, enter your boat, a great place to enter your natural swimming pond, great place to have your morning fish pedicures, great place to have your morning cup of Jojo with your faithful loving dog. I'll show you how I made mine and some other options out there just in case you would like your very own boat dock. So I needed new stairs for my deck. Also along my deck I built a natural swimming pond. So with some extra railroad ties I had lying around the ranch, I built stairs that extended down into a boat dock. I cut the railroad ties to the needed lengths for the stairs and stacked them for the desired height and width, connecting them with screws and brackets to each other and to the frame of my deck. Then alongside the bottom couple stairs, I connected one railroad tie to each side to be my main boat dock support. The railroad ties I bought for the boat dock were 8 feet long that I cut to 7 foot so it would fit in the free space I had on land and so that it would lighten the weight load extending over the water and free up swimming and boat space. I placed those two railroad ties about four foot over the water and three foot supported on the land. After drilling two or three holes into each seven footer, I then sludge hammered pointed metal rods with flat top ends through the holes into the ground to help fasten the railroad tie dock. I then cut two approximately one and a half foot sections of railroad ties placed them vertically on the ends of the railroad ties, fastened them to the railroad ties and to the stairs for more support. After all was fastened, I poured concrete over the end of the railroad tie to the side of the stairs and around those two vertical pieces. Once the concrete dried, I finished framing the dock with pressure treated boards, again securing with screws and brackets. I used nice 1x4 wood for a decorative perimeter trim on top of the boat dock. I purchased two custom metal wagon wheels from I believe Etsy that I secured with lag bolts and metal straps that I painted to the boat dock. The wagon wheels are for aesthetics and something to grab on when you're in the water. I connected railings for the stairs using 4x4 four four posts and down timber using lag bolts to secure them. I also lined the stairs and perimeter of the boat dock with rope lights. Now if you don't want to use railroad ties and don't want a dock supported on top of the liner or want a long dock or even a floating bridge, well I would suggest dock floats. They are customizable to your desired setup you can connect multiples for longer docks, and you can order ones that support heavier or lighter loads. On top of the dock floats, you could attach a wooden floor to help blend in with the more natural environment, like a natural cedar. Well, I hope this video has at least given you some ideas on your pond boat dock journey. So go ahead if you'd like and drop your ideas and experiences regarding boat docks in the comment section below and have fun creating your own boat dock. God's grace and peace to you.